আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর খাদিজা অ্যাসোসিয়েট প্রফেসর ডিপার্টমেন্ট অফ ফিজিওলজি বসুন্ধরা আদিন মেডিকেল কলেজ ওয়েলকাম টু অল টু দিস অনলাইন সেশন টুডে আই এম গোয়িং টু ডিসকাস আইটেম নাম্বার সিক্স অফ রেনাল ফিজিওলজি দিস আইটেম ইনক্লুডস মেকানিজম অফ ফর্মেশন অফ কনসেনট্রেটেড অ্যান্ড ডাইলিউট ইউরিন ইউমিনো দ্য মেন ফাংশন অফ কিডনি ইজ টু ফর্মেশন অফ ইউরিন অ্যান্ড কিডনি অ্যাক্টস অ্যাজ এ প্লে দ্য মেইন রোল ফর রেগুলেটিং মটার ইলেকট্রেড ব্লাড ব্যালেন্স অফ আর বডি বডি ইলেকট উই নো দ্য অসমোলিটি অফ আর বডি ফ্লুইড অ্যাবাউট অ্যারাউন্ড থ্রি হান্ড্রেড মিলি অসমো পার লিটার সো কিডনি ওয়ান্টস টু মেনটেন দিস অসমোলিটি ইফ ইফ দ্যার ইজ এনি চেঞ্জ ইন অসমোলিটি মোর দ্যান থ্রি হান্ড্রেড অর ডিক্রিজেস মোর দ্যান থ্রি হান্ড্রেড ওয়াট কিডনি ট্রাই টু রিটার্ন ইজ টু দি নর্মাল নাও দ্য টার্ম ডায়োলিট ইউরিন হোয়াট ইজ ডায়োলিট ইউরিন the urine uh, that is created uh, has more water but less solute is called dilute urine in this case the the volume is more but osmolality is less when uh, dilute urine is formed um, it is formed when body osmolality decreases uh, due to certain cir- certain circumstances like uh, more uh, intake of water uh, excess intake so it should uh, reduce uh, uh, it decrease when intake is more it uh, decreases uh, body osmolality so it should be decrease so kidney try to uh, excrete more water out from the body and return the body osmolality towards the normal that is 300 ml osmol per liter what is concentrated urine concentrated urine is the that is uh, urine volume is less but the solute is more in this case uh, when any condition arises like uh, intake uh, of water is less there is a de- decrease water intake or decrease water uh, um, osmolality body osmolality decreases increases more than 300 ml osmol kidney tries to conserve water to uh, return the osmolality to, uh, towards the normal that is 300 ml osmol in this case uh, kidney uh, excreted concentrated urine that contain more solute but less volume of water so in this case with the what that is uh, the urine is formed that is more concentrated and that but the volume is less then uh, what are the types of nephron we, we know there are two types of nephrons in our kidney that is a uh, uh, cortical nephron and just a medullary nephron cortical nephron uh, is more usually more but uh, just a medullary nephron is less than uh, uh, cortical nephron cortical nephron uh, is responsible for formation of dilute urine and uh, that uh, cortical nephron is about 75 percent which is capable of formation of dilute urine and uh, just a medullary nephron is uh, about 25 percent Uh, it is mainly responsible for formation of concentrated urine uh, and another thing we know that uh, cortical region there is blood supply is more but uh, in medullary region the blood supply is less uh, uh, this less blood supply also help in formation of concentrated urine now you should know uh, the obligatory uh, urine volume what is obligatory urine volume it is the minimum volume of urine that must be excreted uh, from our body per day to get rid of metabolic waste product that is produced in our body per day Uh, you know uh, a normal 70 kg man uh, the n- normal metabolic waste product that is produced per day is about 600 ml osmol per liter in each day so this is the it is fixed for uh, it is the, this is this amount of excrete um, metabolic waste product must be excreted from our body and the minimum volume of urine uh, that should be excreted is about 0.5 liter per day so this is the obligatory in volume in this case kidney has the concentrating ability to uh, concentrate the urine about 400 to uh, 1200 to 1400 ml osmol per liter when we intake more water in normal person there is a normal if uh, urine flow rate is normally 1 to 2 uh, ml per minute and normal urine osmolality is about 500 to 6 700 ml osmol per liter but when excess water is we intake excess water this uh, urine excretion rate may be increases up to 20 liter per day in that case Uh, osmolality may be reduces up to 50 milli osmol per liter that is the minimum uh, ma- maximum diluting capability of our uh, kidney and conversely when there is deficient in, uh, of water in the environment so there is less intake of water so body uh, kidney tries to conserve the water and in this case it has the maximum concentrating ability uh, as uh, 1200 to 1400 milli osmol per liter uh, when we see a graph in your uh, te- textbook you can see uh, wh- whatever the intake of water it, mm, but 
the body osmolality remain always same 300 ml osmol per liter but kidney act as a uh, central role by uh, excreting or de de conserving the water uh, to maintain the 300 ml osmol in uh, in our body uh, body fluid but uh, when you see the urine excretion uh, the composition of urine the metabolic waste product is always the same there is a graph you can see in the your textbook how in a mechanism of uh, concentrated uh, formation of dilute urine how dilute urine is formed when uh, glomerular filter is formed it is about 300 milli osmol per liter uh, when the glomerular filter is formed is uh, it uh, uh, the composition is almost the same as plasma so it it has the osmolality same as uh, 300 milli osmol per liter in proximal convective tubule uh, the rate of reabsorption of solutes and water is same so uh, it remain as same as uh, glomerular field rate. When prox uh, the tubular fluid passes from proximal community tubule descend uh, to the uh, descending limb. Uh, in the descending limb, uh, we know the descending limb is a water permeable segment, here solid is not reabsorbed. So, when so water is uh, coming out from the descending limb uh, because of um, hyperosmolality of the renal medullar interstitium, we know the renal medullar interstitium is hyperosmotic from uh, top to bottom. Uh, it is gradually increasing. So, when uh, the segment uh, water uh, tubular fluid descends through the uh, descending limb, water try to move out to become equilibrium with the surrounding. At the top it become the same as the surrounding uh, like 600 or more. Then uh, the fluid be, uh, enters in the ascending limb. In ascending limb we know ascending limb is uh, water impermeable segment despite of presence of ADH hormone. ADH hormone uh, um, does not play any role in this segment. In this segment it is uh, truly it water uh, impermeable segment. This is the segment where there is the presence of active transporter that is uh, for solutes so like sodium, potassium and chloride which pump out solute from the uh, tubular fluid to the interstitium. That leads the tubular fluid to come to the interstitium and so uh, water is not uh, coming out, but the solid is coming out. So, tubular fluid become hyper hyposmotic because solid is coming out and water is not. So, uh, at the last end we uh, of the um, ascending limb, here we find the osmolality is 100 milliosmol per liter. So, when the fluid uh, enters in the uh, early end of the distal tubule, in this segment uh, the fluid is always hyposmotic. Then uh, when the fluid uh, enters tubular fluid enters the late part of, late part of the uh, distal convoluted tubule, distal convoluted tubule, collecting tubule and collecting duct. All these segments are ADH dependent segment. This segment uh, absorb water in the presence of ADH. If ADH is not absent present here, then uh, water will not reabsorb. So, in these segments only solute like sodium chloride, these solutes are um, re reabsorbed. So, fluid is becoming more diluted. So, at the end we find when um, at the end we, we can see the osmolality reduces up to 50 milliosmol per liter. So, the uh, dilute in is formed. You can uh, see the figure in your textbook. This figure shows uh, the how dilute in is formed. In this figure we can see the at the end the osmolality become 50. Now, how antidiuretic hormone that is ADH play is uh, control formation of concentrated urine. When there is deficit of water uh, or an osmolality of the body fluid increases that is uh, that causes a posterior pituitary gland to secrete it, uh, anti dietic hormone. So, ADH act on distal part of uh, convoluted tubule collecting duct and collecting tubule and collecting duct. So, water it which uh, allows to uh, reabsorb more water from these segments. So, concentrated urine is formed and extracellular fluid um, osmolality reduces. Conversely, when water in the extracellular uh, body is more, so extracellular fluid or uh, osmolality reduce, uh, reduces and uh, ADH secretion from the posterior pituitary gland uh, stops. So, no more ADH uh, to act on the distal tubule collecting duct. That is why um, water will not reabsorb from the, uh, these segments and that is why large amount large volume of water is excreted by by the um, kidney in this way adh help um, to form concentrated and dilutin